what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? New documents reveal that Donald Trump has gotten his sidekick, Mike Pence, to spearhead a so-called Election Integrity Committee. <laughs> the letter sent Wednesday by Kansas City Secretary of State Chris Kobach, who is leading the Anti-Voter Fraud Commission, was sent to every state and claims the commission is tasked with studying the registration and voting processes used in federal elections and submitting them to guess who, y'all? To none other than Don DeCon Trump. Wow. Donald Trump being in charge of an election integrity commission is like putting a pedophile in charge of a rape kit evidence room. You know how that's going to go, right? This is crazy, man. This is madness. This is madness. Among the questions asked of the states in the letter, Kobach requested information about instances of voter fraud or registration fraud in each state, as well as election-related crimes. The letter also requests full voter rolls that include full name, party affiliation, and the last four digits of the voter's social security number, as noted by Washington Post reporter Chris Ingram on his Twitter. This sounds like a double fraud. This sounds like some voter fraud and some identity theft going on. Man, you can't put nothing past these dudes. I mean, absolutely zero. Donald Trump and Mike Pence spearheading a, an election integrity committee. Talking about their laying the groundwork for a voter's fraud now, nah, voter suppression now. Nah. More like they're laying the ground for the destruction of America. It's a wrap, y'all. Let them get away with this, it's a wrap. This administration is currently under investigation for voter fraud. And these suckers, these weasels, these demonic devils have the audacity to try to act like they're interested in protecting democracy, like they're interested in making sure that Americans don't commit voter fraud when that's how he got in office. This is ridiculous. The complexion of America is changing. And the neo-Nazi slash white nationalists like Donald Trump and Mike Pence, they're trying to protect white supremacy. And they figure better now than later. Let's get it out of the way. Let's Take care of it now. Let's do it all right now while we in charge. Because they don't know how long it's going to last. So if they can put some things in place, not only can Donald Trump win in 2020, but Mike Pence can backdoor and become president. It's a setup. This just in. Russian election officials are now saying they do not have to engage the United States in voter fraud. They don't have to take place in none of that stuff. The reps in the United States Congress got it covered. 
they are going to destroy American democracy all by themselves. Amazing. They're going to challenge every single person who is not white. That's what they're going to do with this. And if you are a Democrat and you live in a pro-Trump district, your life could very well be in jeopardy. If you're anything other than a Republican, your life could very well be in jeopardy. Y'all got to know these people, what these people up to. They up to no good. I'm sure that this information that they're requesting will sit safely in an unhackable Hotmail account. <laughs> man, this stuff is crazy, man. Unbelievable. This move that they're making, it's the same thing that his hero, Putin, did to stay in office. Voter suppression, voter intimidation. That's why Putin is still in office. That's how he did it. So Donald Trump is just taking a page from uh, Putin. That's how he get out. I'm sure Putin told him, hey, man, you know, you're the president, man. Why you got to do all of this stuff? You got to go through all these people, man. Donald Trump got everything that he's doing is basically similar to what's going on in Russia and how they operate. All he's missing is some, uh, for a few Democrats to come up missing. And that's it. Because he got everything else down pat. He got it down pat. I mean, just straight up robbing and looting and pillaging and raping the American people. Can y'all imagine what would have happened if Barack Obama would be that cozy with a Russian president where he doing business in Russia? Well, like Barack Obama was doing business in Russia and, and his daughter was doing business in Russia, his wife doing business in Russia. He got cabinet members all in Russia doing business. Can y'all imagine what would have happened? That's crazy. Now all of a sudden, when Barack Obama was in office, Trump was telling Barack to stay away from Russia. He shouldn't have any dealings whatsoever with Putin. Now it's all good since he's in office. It's all good. There's so many cons to loaf that you don't know where to start. You don't know where, where to start, who to put at the top. Mike Pence and Donald Trump, man, they right up there with 10,000 sons. I mean, S-U-N-S. -S. They right up there at the top. Some of the worst of the worst. Can y'all imagine where America going to be if that dude was able to stay in office for the next nine years? Well, not nine years, I'm sorry, seven plus years. Can you imagine what would happen? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Heard some people talking about civil war. I've been hearing that a lot lately. People say, man, you know, we on the verge of civil war. Let's think about that for a minute. Civil War, what, what would happen? What side would you be on? Civil War. I know if it was a Civil War, we'd have to do some negotiating up front. We can't be taking no chances like we did last time. Can't be no situation where we just automatically assume we're going to have some equal rights and be treated fairly and all that. No, we got to get that understood straight out the bat. We got to have some backup plan for that, man. Can't trust that. Not again. Uh-uh. Wonder what would happen. The idea of a civil war ain't that far-fetched. 
Not when you have a rogue president and a rogue vice president, a rogue administration, and you got a Playboy Bunny as the first lady. She Playboy? A hustler. I think hustler. More like hustler. Yeah, she more like a hustler. It's crazy, man. Let's see how it go over the next, what, few months especially. Ah, man, it's crazy. We're going to see how it go, y'all. Donald Trump, your president, is at it again. And America is in the sunken place. And I don't really see any light at the end of the tunnel. We in trouble. All of us, even the ones who are riding with Donald Trump and thinking that they're immune to danger, you're in trouble too. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.